to today's solar eclipse. We've just got over nine hours to go. Today, all eyes will shift to the sky. And many are hoping to get a glimpse of today's solar eclipse. It's the last one for two decades. More than 31 million people in the path of totality from Texas all the way to Maine, more than 2,000 miles long across 15 states. North Carolina is not in that path of totality, but it is expected to be quite a sight anyway. Anthony Wilson live in Durham with what you need to know to view this eclipse safely. Anthony, good morning. Morning, John and Anna. First and foremost, it is not safe to look directly at the eclipse without eye protection. Now, listen up for some tips about the safe viewing coming up in just a moment. But first, on, by the numbers here in North Carolina, we will get between 80 and 84 percent totality during the eclipse. It'll start at about 1:51 p.m. peak by 3:15 p.m. and end at about 4:30 p.m. It'll last nearly four and a half minutes for those in the path of total darkness. And as John said, that's not us. Now, you can't look directly at the eclipse. Can't emphasize this enough. A safe way to take in the sight is to wear eclipse glasses that have a special solar filter. Your regular sunglasses will not be good enough today. Now, if you were lucky enough to get your eclipse glasses earlier from a trusted manufacturer, use those because anyone can print the international safety standard code on their glasses without actually having tested the product. The American Astronomical Society has published a guide to finding approved glasses on their website. Maybe you can use that for the next eclipse. Another way to safely view the solar eclipse today, though, is to create a pinhole camera, which will create a projection of the image of the sun onto a surface. The AAS and NASA have instructions on their websites on how to make one. You can do this in a ton of different ways. In 2017, I used some NASA instructions to make one out of a cereal box. Then you like have a little eye hole and then the image of the sun is projected on the inside of the box. It's very cool. Again, please do not attempt to watch the eclipse today directly without any eye protection. You could permanently damage your eyesight. With safe viewing, you can enjoy the experience though. So fingers crossed people will not have any problems, John and Anna. Lots of people excited for that. Hopefully everyone can get their glasses. That's for sure. Thanks, Anthony. The Moorhead Planetarium at UNC Chapel Hill is preparing for a crowd of thousands to celebrate today's rare event. The planetarium is celebrating with a special eclipse party. It'll be from 1230 to 445 in Chapel Hill. Outside events are free. Inside tickets are for staggered times. They cost $10 and include a live stream of the eclipse and other activities. They are also, they're also selling Eclipse glasses. And Fayetteville State University's planetarium is hosting a free watch party between 2 and 4.30. The planetarium will have several telescopes available to view the event. They'll also have a limited number of Eclipse glasses for sale. And ABC News has you covered with everything you need to know about the upcoming event. Be sure to watch Eclipse Across America. It airs today at 2 p.m. right here on ABC 11.